just now, like literally one of the guests is in the call. So um, I'm required to tell you. So I do have a little something to say. So I mean, I don't want to be too harsh or rude about it, but if you don't um, sort of work or um, follow the instructions, so we will have to eventually release the funds within a couple of minutes or so since I that's just how our procedure works, I guess. Oh, really? That's your procedure. So if I call back Caleb Brown and tell you if I... So tell me how the request is coming in. Well, I mean, there's just an option on Caleb Brown. You can click on withdraw and then you can put an amount of money and coin, et cetera, and you can just withdraw it like that, but it's still impending. I thought you said earlier you locked and secured my account, so there shouldn't be any more requests. I never said I locked your account. Okay, then why haven't you locked the account? If you think there's a potential for fraud, why wouldn't you lock the account? Isn't that a good practice? Well, I mean, I do understand your point. However, I mean, I I can't just lock the account as many people think we can. But you have access there's to the account, so why? If you have access to the account and you verified, you've t called me and verified I am who I am. So why am well, I'm I'm authorizing you to lock the account? So why don't you just lock the account? Let me check if I have the ability to. I just check. I have no ability to do it. I am so sorry. Please call me back or wait. I call you back. After taking the appropriate steps that are required. The appropriate steps being what? So when I told you to go on the web browser and then go to assist.kfm.org, you can then secure your account and your device. So. Yeah, I, I I feel much more comfortable going to Caleb Brown's official website rather than assist.kalebrown.org. That doesn't seem legit to me. I, want, I don't understand you don't feel legit when I can send you an email and I, I'm calling from the Caleb Brown number. Well, according to Light Quinn Leader and Divi Daddy and a number of other security experts in the cryptocurrency field that have been doing this for years, they say never trust a link. And in fact, you asked me on the first call, did I click on any links that might be suspects? So... Do you see the um, the paradox here? You're sending me an email with the link to click, and you're telling me I shouldn't be clicking I, links. No, I never said you have to click on an email with a link. That's not what I said. I, I read it out to you, meaning that you can see what's going on. And on the computer, you have much more sort of view of what you do. That's, that's why information you're going to need in the portal. And everything sorted from there and securing your device and account. So what? Why again? Why can't I just go onto the Caleb Brown website? What is the difference for using the site that you sent me? Sorry, what? What information is going to be different from the site that you're telling me to go to versus just going to the normal Caleb and Brown portal? Well, that's the thing. You can't. You don't have a certain option. I have tools, right, for Caleb and Brown. We have all every broker, every support rep has tools for uh, the customers, right? So what we do, we I don't you don't see options that I have, right? Is one of those options to secure and lock account? Yeah, so you can't just lock your account. I can lock your account. That's that's sort of the difference, I as you could say. So why haven't you locked my account? Because I mean, take the broken steps first, then I can lock your account. Well, what information do you need from me to lock my account? None. That's why I said we we have you take the appropriate steps, be the support tool, and then I can. After. Brian, you seem to be talking in circles. You're saying uh, you don't need any information from me, but you're saying you need me to log into something to lock the account. So which is it? I never said that you have to log in. I said that we have to get a support tool, and then I can lock your account. Okay, I'm not going to be logging into this site that you just told me to. I'm going to go. I, if I have any concerns with Caleb and Brown, I will log into Caleb and Brown's website. Right, but you don't have to log into the. It's not a login website. That's what you're saying. I, I don't think I don't understand the purpose of this particular site you're trying to send me to. And quite frankly, I don't know that it's secure. And I'm just you're catching me very uh, I'm, I'm concerned about my wealth. I'm concerned about my theta. And you're trying to send me to a website I've never been to, which would expose that money to you as well. I have never spoken to you before today. So I have a lot of concerns and questions before I uh, make these actions. I don't want to make one mistake after another and then lose the money. Does that make sense to you? Well, I mean, I do understand your point. However, I mean, it, I'm, I'm here just to do my job, right? I'm not here to take any money off of you whatsoever in any way. I'm not, I'm doing you a favor by helping you secure your account. It's just making it really difficult for both of us. I, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call my I'm going to call my dedicated broker, Jeff Zelstra, over at Caleb and Brown, and then I'll work with him.
because I know him and I can trust him because I've never spoken to you. And that's just, I don't feel secure. And I appreciate what you're trying to do that. And I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're on my side, but I need to, you know, trust, but verify. So I'm going to call Jeff. Okay. That's fine. All right. Have a good day, Brian. You too. Good luck with your next scam. <laughs> <laughs> he hung up quickly. All right. That's the end of part two, I guess. So again, uh, see, he's trying. He knows that there's a lot of money allegedly available. He's trying to get it. He's not going to get it. It was uh, like two million dollars or million. theta. Well, isn't you theta, don't even know what I have? Isn't theta like a dollar? It's it's got to be like maybe it's seventy five. I think it's under. A dollar. It's under a dollar, but it, I mean, it's in the ballpark. I mean, but like he, I was calling back again. Wait, hold on. Part three is coming. Hello. Okay, I understand, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to my partner about that. Um, I don't, uh, like I said, I need to trust but verify. I'm going to call Jeff, and I appreciate your time, but uh, I honestly, the more that you call me back, the more I'm getting uneasy with this conversation. So um, why don't you try to call someone else and see how much of the scam you can pull off on them, Okay. I see right through you, Brian. Yeah, you're scamming me. I'm calling you right out right now. You're scamming me. I've recorded all this. I am a YouTuber. All this will be on YouTube very shortly and other sites, and I'm going to be sending it, sending it to Caleb Brown, too. It, it's uh, don't get scammed by Brian at Caleb and Brown .com. You You can uh, or dot org. Just download it onto your phone. I'm sure it's secure. Anything else you want to Anything else you want? No, I'm not giving you. Hey, Brian, you got all my information, so I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. I'm uh, you, You're familiar with a, a site called Google? I'm sure you'll be able to find it. I don't it. really, I don't recognize you, so you can tell me. Well, now you're now you're just defending me, because I'm I'm pretty big in this space. So if you don't know who I am. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I am, too. And I'm, But it's it's your own mistake to not know who I am and what you're dealing with. And you're actually talking to two crypto experts right now. My business partner is right here. Hello, my name is Bitcoin Ben. <laughs> Hello, Brian. <laughs> Brian. Hello, hello. Hi, my name is Bitcoin Ben Jamin. I'm sure it is Bitcoin Ben. I mean, how are you? <laughs> Brian. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your Hello. Okay, Brian, the reason I'm calling you today is because your SIM card has been been aggravated and there's assault on the SIM card. <laughs> okay, so what we need you to do is log in to support.bitcoinband.verizon.com. Okay? And then when you log in, you give us the keys to your data wallet and we will have security for you. No, I did not ask you. Well, I asked you just for a little bit of information, not too much. Because this sounds like you're having a good time with me. I'm having a good time with you. I feel like... I'm having a good time with your mom. That's tough. <laughs> Man, I don't like my mom. Good job. Thank you very much. Oh, did you call me a uh, nigga? <laughs> you did. Oh, oh my Allah. Okay, what's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel? Uh, you can go to uh, economicninja.com. You can go to bitcoinben.com because you know I am Bitcoin Ben. Go to bitcoinben.com. Bitcoin, B I P. Economic, economic ninja, that's not you, buddy. No? Okay. Economic, what? You sound like a 
Bitcoin band. Try pen Bitcoin band. Tracker. Yes. Yes. Uh, Calix and brown.com. I hear a lot of typing over there. Man, because he is really interested in me. Mm -hmm. Brian, you no, want to. Oh, I'm so sorry for you guys. I don't know. Maybe you have a problem with your computer. Um, maybe what the best thing we can do is you can give me your uh, key support later. Yeah, well, sooner, 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 later, I'll be having access to Kill Control, so I'll just be entering your whole fucking wallet and just everything for Oh, one second. Jeff is calling me. No, no, Jeff Zilstra, Caleb and Brian. Would you like to talk to him? Yeah, sure. I'll talk to him. Want to talk to Jeff? Here you go. Hello, Brian. Yo, are you a broker? What? Yes, I am. Why are you representing my company? No, it's funny because you sent an email about me. I'm the one who did all that stuff, right? Excuse me? What email? You sent out an email about me 11 hours ago. I sent an email about you 11 hours ago. Yeah, it's getting So, so your decision based on that email was to call more people and try to get more scams going? Yeah, man, I'm probably going to move off to this business company, but you guys are pretty shit. You can't mess with little fucking. You can't sim swap anymore. That's the first thing I uh, tried. Brian, I think I, your uh, sim card is getting Brian, swapped. Brian, the problem is your but cell phone is having you issues. What I only understood the first part you said when you were talking normal. Man, guy, you are just so very, very rude. That's not rude. You're just a fucking retard. You think it's so, you think it's so smart. Investing in cryptocurrencies is going to be like me. One day, let me check what carrier at Jeff. I think I'm done with this guy. Yeah, I'm very scared because you know exactly what I have. You, you're the one trying to get information from me. So, I, and again, I'll be tracking you down. So, have a great day. But your Verizon number is not working. <laughs> uh, he thinks you're just Zilstra. <laughs> yeah, he does. All right. So. That was, I guess that was part three. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make some recording. Oh, he's calling me back? Why would he be calling me back? All right. Why are you calling me back? Why are you, call, why are you calling me back? Have you not learned your lesson yet? Stop calling this number. I'm going to record for a couple more minutes because he might call back. Who knows? <laughs> oh, wait. He's calling back. Do you understand how phones work? Yeah, buddy. Can you tell us something? Oh, yeah. Please enlighten me because you've given me so much so far. Yeah, I'll, I'll enlighten you some more. So I have a customer care if it doesn't work in a variety. What we're going to do, I'm going to get a sense from you. I'm going to get all your fucking things and delete your email. Yeah, good luck. Good, 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 good luck with that. Consider you don't know anything about what you're doing, and now you're the one who's scared, and that's why you're threatening me. So, good luck, buddy. I'm looking forward to your next of seven or eight more calls. He probably just learned what Sim Swap was today. <laughs> so I don't know what this is. I'm gonna look it up. All right, I'm going to stop recording because it's only going to make me more angry. Don't deal with these people, guys. Don't.